Stacy, the state patrol says a vehicle with anything suspended in front of the windshield is a violation. That's a concern to cities and towns across our area because all kinds of utility trucks are made that way. Leaf collection, now a lot tougher in Nina. A job that used to take one person and a truck now takes five people and all kinds of equipment. But it's what the city has to do to avoid a citation from state patrol. The problem is, at least from the state uh, patrol's point of view, is that this uh, column here uh, blocks the view of the driver. Larry Wettering runs the Public Works Department in Nina. That actually sucks the leaves up. He says it's a costly problem to fix. We may have to replace the trucks or reconfigure the trucks, somehow remove uh, the, uh, the vacuum system to the back. If we do that, we will have to use uh, extra staff. It's a problem other cities, like Menasha, face as well. Their utility trucks have equipment up front, and they wonder if their equipment could be banned too. Is, is this a violation of this statute? Now, these manufacturers are building these machines all over the country for just for this type of use. Since the accident this month, the state patrol has been contacting municipalities to warn them about the law. And kind of put them on notice as to, you know, do you have equipment like this? You know, we want you to evaluate it. If it's a view obstruction, it's illegal. And this tedious task may be the solution in more places than just Nina. Now, the man involved in the accident with the leaf blowing truck has been upgraded to fair condition. Meanwhile, the public works superintendent in Menasha has contacted local lawmakers to try to find a solution. Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.